Hi everyone and welcome back to Newegg TV. My name is Paul and today we're going to be doing an unboxing, an overview, and some quick benchmarks on this SSD. This is the ADATA 500 Series S511 60GB SSD. Here is a closer look at the box, as mentioned, the 60GB version of this SSD. Also comes in 120GB, 240GB, and 480GB flavors. It operates on the Serial ATA interface. It's compatible with SATA Revision 3, that's 6 gigabit per second maximum throughput. And uh, down here we can see it comes with a three-year manufacturer warranty from ADATA. And also you can download the ADATA Disk Migration Utility software if you purchase this SSD, and that will help you transfer uh, an existing operating system installation over to your new SSD. Also here on the back, they are listing some performance numbers, and that is uh, up to 550 megabytes per second read and up to 500 megabytes per second write. And we will see if that is borne out in our benchmark tests coming up. Some additional information about the internals here. It uses synchronous DDR MLC NAND flash memory. Memory is built on a 25 nanometer manufacturing process. Also, it is trim compatible, smart compatible, NCQ or native command queuing compatible. So uh, make sure you set your serial ATA controller on your motherboard to AHCI or RAID mode to make sure you can access all of those higher level functions. Also, it's a low power device, as most SSDs are. At idle, it will only consume 0.6 watts, and while active, it will only consume 3 watts. Finally, it is a Sandforce controlled drive, which uses the Sandforce SF2200 controller. Also included here in the box, you get a uh, little adapter bracket, so this will allow you to install your SSD in a standard 3.5 inch bracket in your computer case. You mount the SSD right there, slide that in, and mount it to the side. Of course, it comes with screws for mounting the drive, the SSD to the bracket, and the bracket to your case. Also you get some documentation here including a quick installation guide as well as some additional information on that disk migration utility that you can download from ADATA. Finally, here is a closer look at the SSD itself. It's got a a nice blue label on there with the drive information. It has a black brushed aluminum finish here on the top as well as on the bottom and there at the back you can see your serial ATA data and power connectors. Next up let's take a look at some benchmarks. So for starters here we have crystal disk mark and we're just running this in the standard crystal disk mark mode with a one gigabyte test. We can see the read speeds got up to 443 megabytes per second, write speeds at 94 megabytes per second. For the 4K tests, we had a 32.95 and 88.86 read and writes respectively. 4K tests are very important for typical day-to-day -day computer use if you really want to see a big boost as far as day-to-day uh, -day use and seeing some performance increase on your computer. We also ran Crystal Disk Mark in zero fill or compressible mode. The SF2200 controller does a really good compression, so you can see a big jump in our write speeds here, particularly as it's writing data to the drive jumped up to 471 and 462. So depending on the type of data you are working with, you will definitely get more performance if you're using compressible data with this drive. Next up we ran AS SSD, and that is a very popular uh, SSD benchmark. It's similar to Gristle Disk Mark. This is, uses incompressible data, so once again we can see some uh, nice big sequential read numbers here, 447, whereas the writes with the incompressible data are a little bit less there at uh, 55.91. What you can see here with AS SSD is the access time, uh, which is one of the biggest benefits of an SSD. We got 0 0.5, 0 0.156 milliseconds for read, 0 0.241 milliseconds for write, and an overall score of 310. Finally, you might be asking uh, the benchmarks that we saw listed on the box were a bit higher than that, and that is true. If you are testing a SSD at home and you want to see uh, it really hit its maximum potential, Atto is a great benchmark for that, so we have two tests here. We ran QDepth 4, and which is the default, and we also ran QDepth 10, which is very popular for SSD manufacturers to use in their benchmarks of their products. So QDepth 4 here, uh, when it gets to up to the higher test sizes, we easily surpassed the 500 uh, megabytes per second uh, read speeds, got up to 507 total on those uh, higher end tests over there. Uh, with QDepth 4, we hit up to about 534 uh, megabytes per second max read speeds. Finally, uh, with our QDepth 10 test over here, we hit the uh, specs that we saw in the box. So here, particularly with the 256K test, 
We got over 503 megabytes per second write and 550 megabytes per second read. And that is going to wrap it up for this video. Once again, this has been the ADATA S511 60 gigabyte SSD, which operates on the SATA Revision 3 6 gigabit per second interface and features the Sandforce SF2200 controller. I'm Paul with Newegg TV. If you enjoyed today's video, please head over to our Newegg YouTube channel. Don't forget to subscribe for more tech videos. Thanks a lot for watching, and we'll see you next time.